And lastly, there's transportation and lodging that's listed on here. I'm gonna tell you a quick story about how someone benefited from that. So I have a policyholder that lived in South Carolina at the time and his wife was being diagnosed with cancer and they decided they wanted to seek a second opinion um, at one of the best cancer hospitals in the United States in New York City for this specific cancer that Frank's wife had. And so they, him and his wife flew to New York City. They stayed there for several days and Aflac helped cover the cost of their personal transportation and their lodging because those are expenses that Frank and his wife would have paid anyway and no health insurance covers. So the bottom line with this plan is that it helps deal with the financial burden that can come from an illness that affects a large percentage of Americans. And lastly, AFLAC allows dependent children to be added to the plan at no cost. We never charge for a child on a cancer plan and are in offering the plans now for 66 years. So I'm going to show you a quick claim scenario of what a cancer, what this could look like. I'm going to have to log in again. So bear with me just a minute, guys, while I do that. Let me get the page up again from the slide deck. It'll work once I log. Uh, now that I've logged back in, it will work. At least it should. If it doesn't, we'll continue moving forward and I'll send the PDF out to you guys. So, Okay, here we go. So here's an example of a claim. And this is a real claim that did happen. So there's a woman named Kathy. She was 41 years old. She was a single mother, had no family history of cancer. She purchased the middle level cancer plan with the building benefit that increases value on the policy over time. So her kids were free. She had concerns that, you know, dealing with the things that are listed. And this gives an example of all of the benefits that were paid out over, the t over this time. So a mammogram, being diagnosed, getting a second opinion, having the surgery with anesthesia, chemo and immunotherapy, radiation, all these are type, all these things are, are common treatments for cancer that go on for months. Um, reconstructive surgery after the fact, um, hospital stays, uh, and all the, all the things. Um, it also included a 40 cent per mile travel stipend that was reimbursed based on the distance that the person was from their treatment. And then lastly, when someone's diagnosed with cancer, we connect them with cancercare.org, which provides emotional support and tools to keep friends and family updated. When my mentor, John Tyler, was in the hospital for AML, he had um, uh, Caring Bridge was the name of the website. And to keep family and friends updated, his wife Janice would would put updates in there because there was hundreds of us that were concerned about John's, uh, how he was doing. So bottom line is um, if you look at what's on here, I mean, there's, I think 20 different things that were covered and that, that covers about a third of what actually is, is covered in a cancer plan with Aflac. So it's a very uh, robust plan that, anyone between the ages of 18 and 69 can enroll in. Now, we've gone through kind of the concept of the products and you'll be distributed PDF brochures of the plans in the state of Florida, just so you can get a, an idea of how they work. But from doing this almost 17 years, there's three main reasons why people see value in Aflac. And these are the things you wanna keep in mind as you're potentially cross-selling ACA clients. The first is that health insurance doesn't cover all medical expense. As you all know, you've got the out-of-pocket maximums, your deductibles, co-pays, and co-insurance that a person has to pay before the, the plan kicks in and covers most events. I say most because sometimes things aren't considered usual and customary. 
Sometimes experimental treatments are not covered. And so because AFLAC plans reimburse the person, they can use the money for whatever they see fit. It can be used for number two or number three also because health insurance doesn't cover lost income. Harvard did a study several years ago around bankruptcies in the United States. And 62% of the bankruptcies that they um, researched happened because of a medical event. And when they polled those that, uh, that claimed it was for a medical reason, 77% of those people had health insurance. So it's not necessarily the medical bills that get people in trouble because as you guys probably know, you can pay the doctor in the hospital over time, but you can't pay your FPL bill, your Florida power and light bill if you're here in Florida on this call. Can't pay that late. They're gonna turn off your power. You can't pay the mortgage late. Eventually they'll foreclose on the house. They can repo your car. They can. You can be evicted if you're renting. You have to have income to cover basic expenses, regardless of how well your health is or not. And health insurance, as you know, has those gaps. And they certainly aren't going to pay your power bill or your car payment. So sometimes what people will do with these funds is they will turn around and use them to keep life moving. And that's why the duck commercials talk about someone bringing money to them in the event of an illness or injury that they can use the money for whatever they see fit. It's not like a gap plan that pays the medical provider. That's another huge difference and really the biggest need for AFLAC. Now I'm gonna shift forward and talk about compensation examples. So let's say, and you know, when you're 